There are so many videos and whatnot on YouTube and, you know, stuff all over Facebook today about the world going to end. Uh, oh boy, this really makes me laugh. Every time someone thinks, oh, the world is going to end, and God, who, for the record, I don't even believe in, is going to kill us all. And <sighs> well, anyway, I thought I'd lighten the mood a little and do a review for you all. Today... Come on, brightness. I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung K5 MP3 player. Um, this is quite a nice little MP3 player I have. It's um, another another thing in my random collection of stuff I have in my room. Ooh, and... Anyway, <laughs> um, it's an MP3 player that slides open and you get a nice built-in speaker at the back here. Uh, so, yes, all sounds good so far. you got a good brand, Samsung, built-in speaker. Uh, it, it sounds good, but we'll see as we get deeper into this review how it goes. Yes. Jump cut. Now equipped with a rather nice tripod, let's go ahead and have a closer look at the actual device itself. Along the bottom you have a headphone socket and a proprietary USB connector. Hmm. Thanks, Samsung. On this side we have nothing. On the top we have a power and lock switch so you don't accidentally touch the buttons in your pocket. And on this side, uh, again, nothing. Uh, it's quite a nice, sleek design. It's got a nice bit of weight to it. It's definitely not heavy though. It feels very solid. Um, the slider mechanism here does feel rather nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to collapse on you. Um, you know, it, it definitely looks quite nice as well. I'm. I want to say the screen this on this is glass, but I can't be sure. So um, I, I can't say too much about that. But it definitely. I mean, I've had this for many years, probably since they first came out, and there's, I've, there's, you know, it's perfectly fine. I've had no problems with scratches or anything on it. I can see anyway. On the back, um, you got a warning sticker about not having your headphones too loud. That everyone just ignores Samsung logo and two little things here that you can pop off if you need to remove the battery. So um, let's now go ahead and turn it on and hope the camera is nice to us. A nice little start of animation there. Um, and you can see the touch sensitive buttons there and the color screen. Uh, interestingly enough, this does not play videos. Uh, that would have been a nice addition, I feel. You know, just slide speaker open, and because obviously the screen would be landscape then, so it would be very good for watching videos. But uh, you can only listen to music and view photos on here, so that may be a dis um, quite disappointing to some people. But for me, I I'm more into mobile music and videos, so it's um, it was no big deal. Uh, the screen and the menu is mostly blue uh, on this. It does makes you wonder why they gave it a colour screen because most of the menu is just basically blue and white I have not found any album art support on here either so um, the colour screen really is just limited to when you are viewing your photos anyway going a bit more into the device you have your main navigation buttons here menu button that changes your settings and all that uh, back button and then up down left right and OK button in the middle. Uh, one nice thing, wrong way. <laughs> one nice thing is that when you slide the device open, the back and menu buttons are on the top. They rearrange nicely, so um, that's a nice little feature there. Anyway, going into the main menu itself, uh, yeah, you have to do that if you want to get the main menu. You have a very nice uh, little transition animation there: music, FM radio, photos. Alarm clock, which is quite useful, and you have your settings as well there. So um, that's all well and good, you know, basic general menu, but it gets the job done. Going into music, you have now playing artists, albums, tracks, genres, and playlists. Um, playlists are quite odd on this. It uses the MTP protocol, so I'd imagine I can't remember how I made that playlist. I'd imagine you would need to use software on your that's not going to focus software on your computer to add playlists to this I haven't found a way to 
make on the go playlists or as such. Uh, sound quality from this is pretty good. It's not the best MP3 player I've ever heard, but I've heard much, 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 much worse. Trust me. Generally Chinese. <laughs> so um, it it would please most people. That's what I can. That's what I would set this at. If you're looking for something, you know, of really good sound quality, you want to go the old A series Walkman or something like a Cow on if you're really, you know, audio inclined. Uh, it does the job. I mostly just use this for the speaker, so that's that. FM radio, uh, we can go in there. It doesn't work without headphones plugged in, which is a little annoying when you have it through the speaker. I think there's laws about recording radio. No laws about recording static. So yeah, you can't listen to the FM radio without headphones. It is a, a little bit of annoyance, but whatever. Photo viewing on here is, um, let me just check that out. I found a nice photo to view. There we go, that's one off Sims. Photo viewing is... <laughs> Sorry about my camera. Generally quite nice on here. Um, on your screen it will look blurry, I apologise, but in real life it does look quite crisp, quite clear. There's no complaints with the screen whatsoever. Um, photo viewing, despite the small screen, is quite nice. Alarm clock, you know, basic, new alarm. You can set it for weekdays, you can have music as your alarm. Um, place for a speaker when it's closed. Yeah. It's nice, no problems. Seem to work fine for me. And then in settings, let's see what we can change. You can change the display, like screensaver and display off. No fancy themes or colour settings, which is a little disappointing. You can also set the time. Language, it does support a large number of languages. I think that's Chinese and Japanese. Um, so that should be fine for displaying characters if you like to listen to Japanese music. Uh, in system, you can change like, the button B, volume limit, FM region, which I found quite interesting. Um, re factory reset and about. So there isn't many options for you to tweak with. There is an equalizer, but it's one of those, you know, you know, equalizers. It's best just left off, really. Um, I'll give you a quick demo of the sound through the speakers, because I know we're running into the seven minute territory again, as I so often do. Let's find something nice we can show you. Artists. Ah, let's have a bit of Aerosmith. Yes, hopefully, and I'm really hoping on this bloggy's mono microphone here that that sounded okay, because um, definitely from my point of view it sounded pretty good actually. It was um, quite impressive from a small speaker. It's definitely nothing, you know, audiophile dream speaker but for listening to music casually uh, it is great and um, I wouldn't say I'd recommend this because now this model is very old it's been replaced with newer versions and they fixed a lot of the gripes I had like um, video playback I think I believe it has a better equalizer and stuff like that but anyway I um, if you can find one of these on the used market real cheap and all you really want it for is listening to music primarily I'd say through the speaker it's um, it's a great little MP3 player. It has decent battery life. Um, mine is a four gigabyte model, so you know you have plenty of room for for your songs. Uh, yes, definitely good MP3 player. Gets a nice thumbs up from me. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment down below if you disagree with anything I've said or want to leave a suggestion. And uh, yes, tune in next time for another The Phone Update video. See you later.